Butter up. It's alive! The urge to build a wicked 10 second car, load it up with nitrous, and unleash its power on the streets in an epic drag race is just too compelling to be ignored. But here's the reality check. Street racing is a big no-no in most places around the world, but hold on, there's a silver lining. Enter Sean Whitley, the legend better known as Farm Truck. This dude gets to live out his racing fantasies on the famous 405, thanks to a reality TV series called Street Outlaws. Produced by Pilgrim Media Group, Street Outlaws has blown up, becoming one of the most popular car shows out there. The show gives viewers a behind-the-scenes perspective on the thrilling street racing scene in Oklahoma City. Farm Truck and the badass 405 crew racing for a spot on the famous The List and the opportunity to score up to a jaw-dropping $50,000 in prizes. Farm Truck has been a key player since the show's inception, but he faced serious health issues that almost made him hit the brakes and step away from racing. So, let's find out what really happened to Sean Farm Truck Whitley from Street Outlaws. The queen of the streets. Sean Whitley was born in Oklahoma City on March 29, 1966. He's been interested in cars since he was a toddler. Sean started learning to drive using his mother's Dodge Dart, and by the time he turned 12, he had started driving his dad's 1973 Ford pickup truck. When most kids were just learning how to ride a bicycle, Sean was already cruising around in a truck. As he got older, Sean's love for cars only grew stronger. During his teenage years, he got into car customization and honed his skills in that area. Eventually, he took a leap of faith and opened his car shop. Sean became a part of the thrilling Oklahoma street racing scene, and he's been in the thick of it for quite some time. When the reality TV show Street Outlaws hit the screens, Sean was cast as one of its major stars. Sean stands out from other street racers due to his unique approach. While most of his fellow racers go for flashy sports cars, he's all about powerful trucks. And not just any trucks, but normal looking ones that he personally tweaks and optimizes to be just as competitive as any sports car. His right of choice is an old school Chevy long bed truck from 1970. This legendary truck earned him the nickname Farm Truck. Farm Truck has built a fairly sizable fan following with his sidekick Asian on Street Outlaws. He met Asian while he was the champion, holding the Street King title. Asian was unlucky to be paired to race against Farm Truck as he lost a race but got a friend, father figure, and mentor. Right after the race, Farm Truck and Asian hit things off. They started working on car builds together and eventually started participating in races together, going on to be formidable on the track. Under Farm Truck's mentorship, Asian became a respected racer on the streets of Oklahoma, and he was eventually asked to join Discovery Channel Street Outlaws. If you are a die-hard fan of Street Outlaws, you may have noticed that Farm Truck and Asian have gradually been phased out of the original Street Outlaws. If you haven't noticed, now you do. This hasn't been discussed on the show or by the producers, but Farm Truck and Asian have stated that the programmers don't want them at race nights. Uh, we knew that we weren't uh, wanted out race night. Um, oh, okay. We can delve into that a little Yeah, that's kind of what I'm asking, okay. right? Like, okay, we can be a little transparent. We weren't wanted at race night. That's true. We, we weren't. We were not. They did not want us out. We're you see, Farm Truck and Asian, unlike everyone else on Street Outlaws, approach car building differently. They don't use every weight loss trick in the book to turn their bodies into drag monsters. Instead, they design their cars from everyday driver cars and aim to make them as quick as a racer without having them look like one. However, because their constructions are distinctive in this way, their builds are usually heavier and unable to compete well on the track with other racers. Farm Truck and Asian became so uncompetitive that other racers began to see them as automatic loss. So, in January 2022, they started their own Street Outlaw spinoff series that premiered on Discovery Channel. The spinoff was named Street Outlaws Farm Truck and Asian and aired on Discovery Channel's Fubo TV in 2020. The show began with an intentionally two hour long episode, as though they were making up for a delay. Fit through a drive -through. I want to have a uh, bacon cheeseburger, two orders of tots. A cola. F and A, bro. Thanks a lot. 
but we're focused on race. However, thing, because of you know what in 2020, the show didn't kick off as expected and was postponed for over a year. Farm Truck and Asian Show did not enjoy the success that other spinoff series from Street Outlaws have found. So, aside from starring in Street Outlaws and their spinoff, Farm Truck and Asian run an automotive studio called Farm Truck and Asian Shop. They also run a street racer merchandise store that sells everything from apparel to posters. Not only that, the duo also runs a joint YouTube channel with almost 400 uploaded videos and over 300,000 subscribers. However, in January 2023, the duo announced on their YouTube channel that they would be rejoining the Main Street Outlaw roster. Fans have a deep affection for Farm Truck and Asian, and they eagerly anticipate their presence on the show. However, some years ago, fans began to notice that Farm Truck seemed to be intentionally distancing himself from the public eye. A little while back, folks who were big fans of the show started noticing something interesting about Farm Truck. It looked like one side of his face was a bit weaker than the other. This got people thinking, some even wondered if he had a stroke. The chatter about this started buzzing over on the official Street Outlaw subreddit, but Farm Truck didn't really address it himself, and that's when Asian stepped in to clear things up, explaining that Farm Truck was dealing with something called Bell's Palsy. Bell's Palsy is this thing where all of a sudden, your facial muscles weaken, making one side of your face droop a bit. And along with that, you might have things like drooling, changes in taste, headaches, and being extra sensitive to sounds. The funny thing is that nobody knows what causes it, and it can happen to anyone, regardless of age. However, the good news is, most of the time, it's just temporary. Those symptoms usually fade away after a few weeks, but there's a chance the face might not go back to normal for some people. Apart from the lopsided look, the fans of the show also picked up on something else. They noticed that Farm Truck had stopped doing handshakes with his right hand. Someone actually hopped onto Reddit to ask why he's going all awkward with the handshakes. Loads of theories popped up about that, but guess who stepped in again? Yep. Asian. It turns out there's a story behind it. In 2022, Farm Truck ended up messing up his right hand, and here's where it gets interesting. It wasn't a regular hand-shaped mishap, but post-traumatic stress disorder that came from breaking his hand. Farm Truck is just super cautious about hurting his hand again, so he's been trying to keep it out of harm's way. No one's quite sure how he got that injury, but there are some speculations that it might have had something to do with a tire machine. If you're wondering whether Bell palsy affected Farm Truck's hands? It didn't. Despite its face not returning to its usual self after the fight with Bell's palsy, Farm Truck made an awesome recovery. He's back out there on Street Outlaws, back to racing and doing his thing just like before. As a good friend and mentee, Asian has always been by Farm Truck's side, supporting and defending him anywhere, anytime. The fans of Street Outlaws enjoy the duo's on-screen chemistry, but their relationship has been called to question. Even though Farm Truck is the TV star that people adore, he is a bit of a mystery when it comes to his personal life. The lack of information about his relationship status sparked rumors about his relationship with Asian. These rumors suggested that because these two are practically glued together, they might actually be more than just friends. However, these rumors were quelled by Farm Truck when he revealed that he was married with a wife and kids. Farm Truck has not made his personal relationship public, so no one knows how long he's been married, whom he's married to, or how many kids he and his wife have. Despite his love for privacy, his net worth has been pegged to be a cool $2 million. Most of that comes from his unknown but hefty paycheck as a cast member of Street Outlaws. Being in the business of street racing is not a cheap affair. Customizing and tweaking the automobiles to prepare for a street racing necessitates a significant cost. Now, we can only assume that Farm Truck is doing quite well financially.